hi guys and welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new and welcome back if you are not yes i look like a hobo my hair looks disgusting because it just wasn't working today and y'all y'all are just gonna have to deal with it anyways so fitness friday video number tres for this week's Fitness Friday video, I'm going to be doing jaw exercises. Yeah, I have a um, insecurity about my side profile because of this. And my jaw is just not sharp at all. Do you see this? You can't even see my jawline. Like, it's not cute. So I decided for the next week, I'm going to be doing jaw exercises. This is gonna be great, you know? We love this for me. Gonna get rid of my little gobble gobble thing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'm gonna get started with some jaw exercises because my roommate's out of the room. I am back with all the fans on because this room gets seriously hot. And I turned on my lights. There's actually light in the room. I literally sit in my room all day, every day. It's like this, all day, every day. So, you know, I you guys know I actually love you because I lights on in my room anyways I am going to be starting so all right so for this first move you're going to put your thumbs under your chin side by side then slightly push your chin down creating resistance then slowly slide your thumbs along your jawline to your ears so for the second move, you're going to sit at a table and put your fist under your chins. Keep your elbows on that table. Slowly and gently try to open your mouth, pushing your fist up, creating resistance. For one of the ugliest moves I'm going to be doing here today, you are going to close your mouth and slowly push your jaw forward, lifting your upper lip. Now, I look like a gremlin while doing this. I am so sorry. All right, for our second to last move and another one that makes you look absolutely ridiculous, all you're going to do is open your mouth as wide as possible saying O and E. Try not to show your teeth, but if you do, it's okay. For our last move, you are going to keep your head parallel to the floor. Gently move it back to feel your muscles contract, and then you will finally move it back to the initial these position. were the uh, weirdest exercises I have ever done. Hi guys, welcome to day two. I still look like I have a square face. I have no jawline definition and I still have my little gobble gobble. It's time for a second day of awkward face movements that are gonna be um, really fun to watch. I hope you guys enjoy this. For this exercise, you're going to press your tongue on the roof of your mouth where it is positioned behind your teeth. And then you're just gonna hum. That is literally all you do. I annoyed the shit out of my roommate doing this one. This exercise, the making vowel sounds one, is used a lot throughout this exercise. But it is actually one of the good ones that I actually did feel when doing. The neck curl is basically the opposite of the collarbone back up. You're gonna lay on your back and press your tongue against the roof of your mouth and just lift your chin up. That is really it. <laughs> So this is also the collarbone backup. And as you can clearly see, I did it two different ways from day one and day two. I'm not exactly sure which one is the correct way, but you know. The last move of the day is the lip pull up. You're going to remain seated or standing, whichever. And you're going to lift your lower lip as much as possible by pushing out your lower jaw. All right guys, jaw. so now that I'm done with these, my jaw actually hurts. There's like a lot of tension right here right there in my jaw so hopefully these are working because i want to be as smashed as angelina jolie i hope you guys enjoyed watching me do weird face movements and i'll see y'all tomorrow bye hi guys it is day three the only noticeable difference that i have noticed is a pain in my back i have a pain down along my spine and Either that's coincidentally because of just pain and 
you know, has nothing to do with these weird exercises or I'm doing these all wrong and causing myself back pain. We love it. It's literally just my luck, like me throwing out my back by doing jaw exercises. I don't really think too many differences are gonna be noticed during this week experiment. I was actually told by my friend AJ that there's this ball and you literally just put it in your mouth and chew on it. So I was looking into buying one of those. They're a little on the more expensive side, so... And a girl's trying to save her money. So we'll see about maybe doing that for another challenge, seeing if this ball jaw thing works. But we are here to watch me do some weird face movements for the third day in a row. But uh, I'm gonna watch some Brooklyn Nine-Nine while I do this. So let's get into these. The last day of our cycle, we are starting with the jaw jet. You're going to tilt your head back and look up at the ceiling while pushing your lower jaw forward to feel the stretch under your chin. And then you're just gonna bring it back to the normal position. All right, guys, it's time to pucker up. I'm um, sorry. Um, what you're gonna do for this exercise is tilt your head back, look at the ceiling and pucker your lips as if you're gonna give the ceiling a kiss. Then you're just gonna stop puckering and bring your head back. I did this one wrong the first time. So basically all you're supposed to do is stick your tongue out as far as you can and lift your tongue upwards towards your nose. You don't need to tilt your head back at all. It is time for our last move, the neck stretch. This one's probably the easiest one and all you do is tilt your head back and push your tongue against the roof of your mouth. As weird as this sounds, children, these exercises are making me dizzy. It's from tilting my head back so many times. Um, my brain is rattled and I'm nauseous and I think I have motion sickness. So I am not doing the last exercise on this list because I would rather not throw up everywhere. So now I know I have motion sickness. Tee -hee. I will see you guys tomorrow. Hi guys and welcome to day four. I don't have any more back pain like I did yesterday, but I still don't think I should have gotten back pain for the next exercises. I hope you guys enjoy a fourth day of me looking like a complete idiot. So we are now back to the first part of our workout cycle. If I didn't explain this enough to you guys, basically what I'm doing is I have three different days of workouts and all i'm doing is cycling those three workouts throughout these seven days pretty simple i mean if you want to follow along you can i can link a google doc or something in the the box at the bottom the description box and y'all can choose if you want to follow along or do it with me but i mean i wouldn't follow how i'm exactly doing these because i did really bad and i gave myself neck pain and back pain and it's just yeah i'd follow a professional not just a dumb college student but i mean i had fun but i did throw out my back for a day from these so you know that's just my luck right yeah i'd say so <laughs> after rudely being interrupted multiple times i have finally finished my exercises for the day and i'll see y'all tomorrow hey guys <laughs> welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new and welcome back if you are not imagine this gets leaked like you become famous and this exact video gets leaked <laughs> 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 Bye guys, I love y'all. Hi guys and welcome to day five. I'm feeling very unmotivated today because clearly there are still no differences that I have seen. Especially like side profile. There's still no differences there. But let's just skip to day five. Hopefully there's like some differences, so this whole video is just not a full lot. But yeah. Alright, so it is day five and I have not seen any differences, which is sad because I've actually been trying and I really wanted to see differences because my side profile is one of my biggest insecurities and I 
yeah just want to change that so i just touched something fuzzy what is under the desk Oh, just my junk glass. Okay, that scared the living Jesus. I'm in my friend's room and I didn't know if I just touched like a dead animal under the desk. Oh, I don't know. That scared the living Jesus Christ out of me. I feel like I would make a good podcast person because I talk so much and it is so bad. What are y'all's thoughts? Should I do a podcast? I mean, I only have 50 subscribers, so I don't know. Alright, children, today's was a quick one, and I'm happy I'm done because I'm exhausted today and didn't feel like doing these, but I did. So, yeah, see you guys later. About the strip? (laughs) Yeah, strip. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. (laughs) That's gonna be my thumbnail. Yeah, we're just like, (laughs) but it's actually recording. (laughs) <laughs> Hi guys, welcome. You <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to day six. Um, no updates to be given. I have not noticed a difference in my jaw at all. I have. No. Yes. <laughs> so, if anything, it caused back pain for like the last couple of days, and the ones that I have to do today are the ones that like set off my motion sickness so because you're just throwing your head back for like 20 minutes yeah not the best but i hope you guys enjoy the second to last day of watching me look completely stupid all right guys it is day six and as you can tell my mans is here my mans decided to come join me and i'm so happy because we both just kept looking at each other like i had to cut a bunch of clips out because like we kept looking at each other and laughing and i'm so sorry for the cringy clips you are going to have to deal with from the two of us um, if I haven't said it already, but his name is Sean, and yeah. yeah. It's like, why can't there be another essay, or even a short answer? She's disgusted by me. She's wrong. I gotta stop by a cop last night. Stop by a cop last night. Stop by a cop Exposed! I'm sorry you guys had to watch that clip and this one you're watching right now, but, um... Yeah, we're just goober heads and we have a lot of fun doing this, so don't judge us. I really enjoyed seeing him and getting to have him work out with me for the day. So you know what? Let us be happy, okay? Just enjoy the cringy clips that you're going to have to endure. All right, guys, we are done looking like idiots together. We're going to go back to watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hi, guys. Today is day seven, our last day of this. I'm excited that this is over because this has just been a burden. It literally, like, I've seen maybe the tiniest difference, and these exercises, uh, yeah, I think the next time if I'm going to try to do jaw exercises, I'm going to, instead of finding ones off, like, workout websites, I'm going to just use the ball that I talked about earlier. These give me headaches. They gave me back pain, they gave me neck pain, especially the ones where I had to keep my head up towards the ceiling, like the ones I did yesterday. Those make me so nauseous, and those hurt like my neck and my back, so, yeah. It is the last day. I'm sorry, that was a really bad accent. I didn't even know where I was going with it. It just felt right. Okay, okay, thank you. (laughs) So for this last day, I maybe noticed a little bit of a change in my chin. Not too much. Like, it's not extremely noticeable. There definitely was a little bit of a difference, which I'm excited for because at least this whole video was not a flop. I had at least some difference to show y'all so you didn't think i'm just like some failure big sad if i was a failure um yeah i'm excited that this is over so y'all don't have to continue to watch me do embarrassing weird all right children we are done with this challenge i'll see y'all tomorrow Hi guys, I know I look extremely pale and I have a giant zit on my forehead and I have my hair in a braid because 
yeah i just do not look the cutest today i'm sorry you're just gonna have to deal with it so the results i just put all the pictures into this little thing that's day one that's the last day i would say there are differences i wouldn't say there's giant differences but i definitely see a change in my jaw from day one to day seven my jaw is less puffy like here it's less puffy it's less like of a gobble gobble thing and it's more flat and you can actually see the curve of my neck now i wouldn't say this thing was fully successful this was definitely like not the results i was looking for because there's still no definition of my jawline like if i do a side profile i still look like i have no jaw so you know but at least i got rid of some of my gobble gobble but this challenge gave me back pain, neck pain, and it was not fun. So, I tortured myself for you guys. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, because I did not, so I hope at least you guys did. And we'll see you guys next week. Bye!